First Alert Weather is brought to you by the Medical Center. Just a reminder, we have a lot of business, uh, daycare, uh, delays, closings, postponements, events too. That's all down at the bottom of your screen with our exclusive Puller Report. You can also see that online at WBKO.com. And if you've downloaded our app to your iPhone or Android uh, device, you can also see that there with the WBKO app. It's that yellow bar right at the top of the app screen and you can see the latest closings and delays there. And as we take a look at First Alert, live Doppler radar, we can see finally an end to the snow shower activity that's been occurring all morning long. This is the very last gasp, if you will, of this winter storm as it's continuing to throw out a few flurries, especially east of us. But all this now is about to come to an end. In fact, we're seeing some breaks in the cloud cover just west of Bowling Green, allowing some limited sunshine to come through. Now, we'll get a little bit of radiation from the sun to maybe start some melting, but don't expect a lot today. And as we get down into the single digits tonight with that snowpack, it's really going to get cold and all this is going to refreeze again and then tomorrow maybe we'll get enough above freezing with a lot of sunshine throughout the day and that should start the melting process over the coming days as a nice warming trend sets back into southern Kentucky. Well, let's take a look at some snow totals and this is from the National Weather Service. I threw this together pretty quickly as some of the totals were coming in from the Weather Service. This may not be the last total that you see as they're still kind of adding things up. Plus, a lot of these totals are taking into consideration two to three inches of sleet, plus maybe an inch of snow on top of that. Depending on where you are, Campbellsville, Taylor County, uh, Weather Service reporting four and a half inches combined sleet and snow. Greensburg, same thing, four inches there. Butler County, the Aberdeen community just outside of Morgantown across the river, three inches of combined sleet and snow. And for Bowling Green, the official total so far, two and a half inches combined sleet and snow. But again, they're still working on totals here in Shane. We'll have an update on some of the totals coming up tonight at 5, 6, and 10. Here's a look at uh, temperatures. They're continuing to go down, but coming back up just a little bit where we're getting some some limited sunshine now. We've popped back up into the low 20s to the west while we're still just in the teens to the east. Then you throw in the winds out of the north at 10 to 15, 20 miles per hour, and that makes for single digit wind chills. So if you're going to be out, we, ex we first of all urge you not to get out on the roadways if you can all possible, but if you do have to be outside, dress in layers and stay warm as single digit wind chills will continue for the rest of the day. Here is a live view now from that uh, weather cam at Independence Bank looking down Scottsville Road and we're seeing at least a little bit of pavement here whereas this morning we were seeing none at all and with the sleet and the snow accumulation the, uh, the highway department's been working to clear some of the roadways here but still in the medians and on the sides of the roads even the main interstates and parkways you've got to be very very careful. 21 degrees now feels like temperature of 13 with a north northeast wind at six miles per hour. Here's a beautiful view from the Mammoth Cave National Park weather cam, their weather cam that they let us uh, take pictures of and show you the pretty uh, landscape there with the uh, snow and the sleet on the ground, 19 degrees, 17 degrees at our AAA Systems weather cam there in Grayson County. And as we head to Russellville, still a lot of sleet and snow on the ground, of course, 20 degrees there. Be careful anywhere you go. Temperatures in the teens to the north, 20s here, 30s, 40s, 50s, even 60s and 70s in the Carolinas right now. Yeah, they have yet to get the brunt of that winter storm that came through overnight produced a lot of sleet, and now we're seeing just the back edge of that system. In fact, skies beginning to clear, as I mentioned, back to the west of us, already back toward Paducah, far western Kentucky around the Wycliffe area. They're beginning to see some sunshine now as the clouds are moving east with this intense system. So we're done with the snow, we're done with the sleet, we're done with the freezing rain, we're done with that nasty old system. It's out of here, but the cold behind it is going to be with us tonight with high pressure in control. That's going to help our skies clear overnight and certainly tomorrow as it moves a little bit further east. We'll warm up enough with a lot of sunshine to get just above freezing and as I mentioned, maybe enough to start the melting process over the coming days as you'll see in the seven-day forecast. Becoming partly cloudy, especially if you live 
of west of Interstate 65 today. 22. We may get up a few more degrees if we get some sunshine in here. Then partly cloudy as we start to clear tonight. Very cold with that snow and ice pack. Single digits, nine for an overnight low. Tomorrow, mostly sunny, a bit warmer, 36. And look at the warming trend over the next few days. That'll get rid of all this mess. 40s and 50s, maybe even close to 60 degrees by Friday. And for the weekend, just slight chances of a rain shower both Saturday and Sunday with highs in the 50s. Be careful out there. More Midday Live coming up in just a minute.